Hey everybody, Paul the Trombonist here, and in this video I'm going to show you some approaches on how to do the chromatic scale on the trombone. And because the trombone, you can't physically see where the notes are, or the keys or buttons, it's a little more challenging to get a grasp on how chromatics work. So I'm going to show you a few techniques that are going to make your life a little easier is in terms of getting comfortable on the chromatic scale on the trombone. So don't go anywhere. Now the first thing you need to get a grasp on is just playing the chromatic scale as is from the lowest note you can to the top note of your range. So what I would do is I'd go down to, I'm, I'm going to exclude the pedal tones. We're going to do no pedal tones and we're just going to straight up do like the low E and then just go up. It first goes slow so you can really get the detail of where each note lies. Don't rush through it because the way the chromatic works, because it's just a half step, a, a non- A chromatic scale can sound like a chromatic scale even if you're not exactly hitting the right ones because I could do something like this. Even though it's not exactly a chromatic scale, the ear can pick it up as a chromatic scale. So when you're practicing this, you're going to want to really get into the detail of where each note lays. So you want to practice it slow. Once that's comfortable, then you're going to move the metronome up and you're going to get it quicker and quicker and quicker. And you're going to be able to do that from the bottom all the way to the top, kind of at that speed, okay, with the metronome. Now, once that's cool, there's something I like to do called a chromatic chromatic. And it's basically practicing the chromatic scale chromatically. So you run the chromatic scale up and down, then you go up chromatically, up and down, then you go up chromatically, up and down. So check it out. Once that's cool, then I like to do the chromatic the same similar similar way, but with your major scales. So you can do a similar thing with the major scales. So what I mean by that is uh, there's a set of the chromatic scale for each scale degree of the major scale. So for example, let's just take B flat major. <laughs> When 
that's cool, then you can even practice your chromatics with different arpeggios in different modes, doing a similar, similar approach. Now, again, one of those things about the chromatic scale, the chromatic scale is, is really one of the most challenging, challenging things to get together on the trombone just because of how the trombone slide is and how everything is, uh, it's very abstract how this instrument is. And it, and it just involves a lot of slow muscle memory, slow muscle memory to get a grasp on the chromatic. I know you would think that the chromatic scale would be easy just because you could technically go like this, right? But actually, it's, it's one of the most challenging things. So those are a few approaches I like to do to get a grasp on the chromatic scale. I love to thank you all so much. I always love to thank you for watching these videos. It really means the world to me. Thanks to the patrons that help support these videos. Thank you so much. It really makes these possible. If you haven't heard my Amazon best-selling charting album, Journey to the World, I'm going to put a link in the description. I'll put a link to the uh, all this other stuff in the description. My website has when I do live performances. So if you want to see me live, I have like the whole schedule on there and I have almost everything you can imagine on my website is uh, paulthetrombonist.com and if you haven't subscribed to these videos I put up trombone related content all the time and get, click, turn on the notifications the little bell so you get uh, notified in your email and there's some other fun things to look forward to as well okay so just want to thank you all so much and have a chromatic day.